Hello, Internet. So, yeah, Taken here, playing some Mass Effect 3. Um, this is just some random stuff I'm going to do, some side quests for the Citadel DLC, and some story missions, and an N7 quest. I'm testing out my Elgato to see if the streaming works. I'm not going to be commentating the whole time. I'm just doing the test of my Elgato, which is what it says on my video, hopefully. So this is just a test to check, 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 test this out. Um, if you like what you see, I have a YouTube channel with the same channel as my Twitch, so, you know, feel free to stop by there. And, then, um, yeah, here we go. So, let's hope this works and stuff. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed audit. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's over half-brother sluggard! 
And he's looking for some payback. Kill the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, he'll die now! Oh no! The Vulture Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Yes, I know that's where we met. No funny business. Hey, how's Shirley treating? Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm, hello, and, hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you.
Hey, glad you could make it. I've got us set up. I was talking about you. You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom. I'll let you know everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. We should come watch one of Commander Shepard's matches. Remember to redeem your wings at the Onyx Arena store. Did you spot me?
see where the point is. Hey, loco! Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high-quality stuff. <clears throat> Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? You gonna watch, or you gonna join in? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. 
Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well... Maybe after... Every day after. Shepard. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest.
Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation is more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when Jacob was in charge. Excuse me? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. True. However, Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. You are impossible. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? No worries, I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build R3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this, as friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no.
Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Ugh! <laughs> now the party's starting. <clears throat> Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander.
Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are... So, Ashley, you much of a partier in your younger days? Younger days? No, I mean, not, not that you're... Crap. Relax. I'm just razzing you, Cortez. You know, back in school, I was too busy looking out for my sisters, so no. Not much of a partier. That's too bad, Williams. Stick with me. I'll make sure you have a good time. Oh, yeah? You got plans for me, Vega? Me? Nah. Nah. But why not come sit a little closer? <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kinda needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. Bet we have, Steve. Here's to us, and a chance to rest. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when Jacob was in charge. Excuse me? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. True. However, Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. You could maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Grunt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I can stop bullets with my mind! You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no really. Okay?
worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria, home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in a Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Dr. Chop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always trade. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's uh, not that club crap, is it? Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good-looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? Tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. 
Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? Nah, this is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying... <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Go on. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique. But biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Come on, Ashley. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Actually, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. 
Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? I really, really would not. What's wrong, dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not. Right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? Jacob. Well, that was mortifying. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we could... We can stop talking about this whenever you like. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! You can't even... No! Oh, okay, sure. Send it my way. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Yes, indeed. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Sick. 
Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jack. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Dancing during wartime waste precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not confident. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. I told Liara that Protheans invented electricity. <laughs> Asari would believe anything. I believe the Zaid human is really a Prothean in disguise. I like that one. He and I have discussed conquering the galaxy after the Reapers are gone. Though I do not understand why he's always damning his god. And one day, the Prothean Empire will rise again! And all the primitives will kneel before Jarek! Could not. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. This party is definitely exciting. Are you having fun, Liara? I am. Although later I wouldn't mind going somewhere a little more... quiet. Just wait, look. <laughs> I'm licking, believe me. <laughs> look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass with an emphasis on the ass. <laughs> Thanks, that's sweet. I think you're kind of sweet. <laughs> Your lips are amazing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, you two. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I... <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Looks like you guys are having fun. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably go check on Cliff or something. See you later, Shepard. Grunt? You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. 
Go back to sleep. Give me more, give me more. Fish of food shack. Shotgun. But every time. I, uh, I found this blue rock for you. Alright. <laughs> Yes, I am. You must be talking to me. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, y yo sin frenos. What was that? Say that again. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, y yo sin frenos. It feels so good to let loose, doesn't it? Gotta work it out somehow. Nothing like a little gunfire to liven things up. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I approve. Yes, I will have another. Woo! -hoo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Well, you and the Asari, I'm surprised you don't just tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck! It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard, but whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has the art always been so blue? And the foxes of the 
question is finally asked. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Really? You have them all memorized? 67! Holmium! Atomic weight about 165! Torian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68! Erbium! Atomic weight 167 and change! You run communications. Why did you need to memorize the periodic table? 69! <laughs> In your dreams! You know, uh, the Normandy's empty right now, and it has a really nice shower. It's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. And here I thought you weren't playing. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Commander! Shepard! Say it again. Tu con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos? Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. here is it morning already good morning I love watching you wake up let's see if anyone else is up Indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. 
Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Aaron. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Uh, problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Harry the Pie Jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? Glycine veiling leucine isoleucine alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases you have arginine, lysine and histidine. From protein we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine from protein we are formed? Omega. Sky was color of Vic Cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then troubled Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor a father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart, but Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Asari very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at Barrel of Pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule, in more ways than one. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. His grace that brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home. <sighs> Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, they're... Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, the Asari. There was one, the Ara. She had those eyes, that voice. She was blue. No. It was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. 
Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her, um, care, or whatever she calls it. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Morning, chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Hey. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun though. Commander. Commander. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. Wild time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh? Uh. Uh. Mm, morning, Shepard. I hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Shepard? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Shepard? Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not... not so loud. Hey. Hey. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Shepard, eggs? Shepard. Shepard. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. 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 I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 
Shepard? Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Hey. So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so... Maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. Hey. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. The apartment seems so quiet now. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right. But whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best.
Commander. Commander. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris's escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Zalkoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen? Let's hope the wilderness is kinder to this admiral than the machines. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors Usual. More gas. Predictable. Machines have always mistaken numbers for strength.
They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find them. Let's get to that jamming tower. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. You take the guns. No problem. Shut down the two by the tower. My message. <laughs> Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hatched. I... 
Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will rest well, Dorn has the Vasremak. Let's get to that tower. should destroy the gun. I want you on this, Tally. Right. Take out that gun, Tally. I'm on it. Signal the shuttle.
Commander Shepard. Gordon didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth... beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. 
Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? Begat will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That get fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. Admiral Gerald is right. Withdrawing now puts the whole fleet at risk. As you say, Commander. All right, and You've got your ships. Thank you, Ron. You'll get them back in good condition. All right, so I'm going to stop the stream here. Hopefully it worked. If not, oh well. Uh, I was in my chat on my thing, and I saw there's like one viewer, so that one person out there, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be doing this again sometime. I don't know when. So, yeah, that was fun, though. So thanks for watching, and uh, later.